19, we're doing the Cleveland Monster Season Mode. This is... with Eddie Olchek alongside and Ray Ferraro down at the ice. This is Mike Emmer. October, first month of the hockey year and a great time for a strong start to the season. Game about to start, but first, Eddie Olchek. The fans are on their feet supporting their team, celebrating the start of regular season play. This is playoff atmosphere in game number one. For some of these players, it is their first season. For others, they're in double digits. Regardless, it's exciting to start a new season, and we have begun it right now. Flings it, and a save! And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. It's a stoppage, and a startage now for Ray. With these goalies playing so well, you've got to get the puck to the net. Preferably down low off their pad, so there's going to be a rebound. Get to the net. See if you can get a second chance and a dirty goal. Thanks very much, Ray. Dylan Simpson with the puck. Smart recovery by Latestu. Just couldn't find the target. Rockford skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Can start the attack going in the zone. Ryan Collins is out there in defense with Dylan Simpson, the forwards, Nathan like Gerby, Mark Latestu, and Sonny Milano for the Monsters. The Monsters possess the play in no man's land. Rister, that puck struck him in front. Tries to take a shot, and Gets Simpson with the puck again. The tries to take a shot Goes on it. Backhand. Misses. He's got, it behind the net. He's got the puck again. Nice Gives it to Latestu. 
to strike. That was a great play in goal. Terrific stop Not right the puck. in front of the net. Gotta find a way to put the puck in the net. Ice hogs. Picks it up back and there. Zach Dolpy's in. Dolpy with the puck. Dolpy going up the line. Dolpy's got a shot. Ooh, miss. Saved. And Anton Forsberg makes the stop. Seven minutes skated here in the first. Now and on the score sheet, yeah. The monsters win. Clint Denning with the puck. Oh, that was a Save terrible him. shot. To do better than that to beat him. Alex Broadhurst made the or won the face off. Cleveland's got it. Tommy Cross with the puck. Here comes Clint Denning over to Ooh, wide open. Wide open, but he misses the net. Your goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. The monsters prevail again. And the pickup. The Ice Hogs with control at center ice. Let's it go. Got it in the slot. Let's a shot go. Save. Fantastic poke check. Corral. A strong pad stop there. Passes it back to the point. Throws it. Oh, he got in the way of that when it's blocked. Looks ahead to start something. The monsters are driving it from the wing. Let's it go. Vino tried to make the shot. Bittner out there now. Oh, offsides on the monsters. Offside on the monsters called. Part of that is because you're out of position. This block standing up is textbook. Paul Bittner out there with. Ryan McInnes and Cole Sherwood, Tommy Cross and Alan, Alan er, and Adam Clendenning are the defensemen. Go Monsters! Paul Bittner, and that makes the score one to nothing for your Cleveland Monsters. Unless you're an Ice Hogs fan listening to this or watching this, in that case, okay. Beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. The Monsters have gotten the first goal of the game late in this period. Will there be more? And McKinnis wins his face off to Clem Denning. It is right now one to nothing Monsters and an offside is called.
just over four minutes to go in the period. It's a one nothing game. Four minutes left in the first period. Couldn't retain possession. Fires a shot. Clendenning trying to take a shot, and Tommy Cross with the puck now. Getting it over to Sherwood. Sherwood takes a shot and misses. Forsberg's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Alex Broadhurst out there with Zach Dolphy and Justin Scott. Clendenning and Cross, the defenseman, still. And another shot and stop by Anton Forsberg. Broadhurst getting the shot to Dol getting the face off to Dolphy. Zach Dolphy, the road captain of the of, of the Cleveland Monsters. Nearing the twentieth minute of this period. Shoots. And we will have we will have nearly one minute left in the first period when we come back. Jean Francois Barub, the goalie for the Monsters. Anton Forsberg, a former Monsters player, the goalie for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Good job on the draw. Cleveland's carrying it through center. Justin Scott tried to get it over to Dolphy, but Dolphy missed the pass, or the pass was blocked. Again. Dolphy takes a slap shot, misses. And we'll get another chance at it, but Broadhurst. And another stop with .9 seconds left by Anton Forsberg. Stay tuned at the end of the first period for the first period recap and some statistics. Monsters win the face off again, and that's the end of the first period. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. Only one goal scored, lots of time left to play. End of the first period. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. Hmm. All right, end of the first period, and the monsters are up one nothing. Thirteen shots for the monsters, while Rockford only has one shot on goal. The time on attack five thirteen for the monsters, one twenty for the Rockford Ice Hogs. No power plays, no shorthanded goals, no anything. The Monsters have won 13 of 13 face-offs. Paul Bittner getting his first goal of the season. Adam Clendenning has an assist alongside Ryan McInnes with an assist. And Jean-Francois Barube has made one save on one shot. And yeah, that's the end of the first period. Now we go down back to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for the beginning of the second period. And some more words from Mike Emmerich, Eddie Olchik, and Ray Ferraro. 20 minutes in the books, 20 minutes ahead. And so what did you think of the first? Rockford's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. Let's test you out there with Milano and Gerby. The defenseman Dylan Simpson and I don't know enough about number six to
know who he is. Another stop by Anton Forsberg means another face-off in the Rockford zone. Ryan Collins with the puck. And he's got it. Directed Milano with the puck Gerby. over to Gerby. Gerby into the zone. Gerby goal! Oh, that was a mess up. Gerby scores! Nathan Gerby scores his first of the season. That's a good shot, quick release, but he's got to have that. Just below the glove, beats him just over the path. Cleveland's built a two to nothing lead, and the sky's the limit the way they've been playing. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? And the other team wins the face off, but Milano will have it. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty. And the arm of the referee is And power play for the... the are given a hooking minor. Power play for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Uh, more times than not, Doc. Anytime you reach... Uh, Sonny Milano will go to the, the penalty point. box. You're going to get a hooking minor. For a hooking call. Rockford special teams practice is focused on the power play. Let's see if it pays off. Well, the power play's excited to get open. Dolphy will win the face off to Bittner. Or to Clendenning. Clendenning passes it to Bittner. Bittner gets in and tries to save that, but it is a stop and a rest for the Rockford Ice Hogs and Anton Forsberg. Sam Vino out there alongside Kevin Stenland and Tommy, Cro Tommy Cross and Adam Clendenning. Kevin Stenland with the puck. Over to Sambino. Sambino has a nice backhand, but that's another stop for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Sambino. Tommy Cross with a shot. Misses that. Clendenning. And now Vino with the puck. 117 to go on the power play. 16 minutes and 21 seconds left in the second period. Great job by the penalty killers. They've been able to front the shots in the zone. Pressure the play up the ice. It has been a letter perfect penalty kill so far. Moving it to cross. Clendenning up to cross. Cross. Up and across the line. Drives ahead. Go Monsters! And it's a shorthanded goal for the Monsters. Shorthanded goals are like a strike of lightning. You just don't expect them when they come. They can be devastating. <laughs> the Monsters lead in puck possession, and they've dominated. Paul Bittner out there with Zach Dalby. Ryan Collins and Dylan Simpson, the defenseman. Dylan Simpson and Ryan Collins trying to get that. Steps in from the neutral zone. Slid back across from one point to the other. Rockford in their thing. Takes a shot. Misses. Takes a shot. Blocked by Francois Verrube. And Paul Bittner trying to make a... Magnificent save. And an incredible save by... Another save by Francois John Francois Barub. Gerby with the puck. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Gerby to Somerby. Monsters power play. Or Monsters killed the penalty. 
and Gabriel Carlson will get in his own end. And offside, it's called on the um, Rockford Ice Hogs. Tommy Cross getting his first goal tonight. Congratulations to him. Mark Letestu alongside Sonny Milano and Nathan Gerby. Doyle Somerby and Gabriel Carlson, the defenseman. Senator Milano trying to take a shot on goal. And Forsberg will rest. Monsters up 3-0. With about 11.07 left in the second period. Latestu wins the faceoff to Gabriel Carlson. He takes a shot and misses, but gets the rebound. Another save and stop by Anton Forsberg. And we will see another faceoff. Tim Vino out there with Kevin Stemlin, Calvin Turkoff, Gabriel Carlson, Doyle Somerby still out there on defense. Let these two get a rest. How, how about that? Yet another rest by Anton Forsberg, the former monster and Calder Cup champion. Same line. Let's it go. A shot. Turkov trying to take a shot. That's a tough one to watch. Need to practice hitting and another power play for the Cleveland Rockford the Ice Hogs. As Sam Vino goes in for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Ice Hogs get another power play chance here. Let's see what happens this time. This power play cannot worry about the shorthanded goals they gave up. Ryan Collins no wins the face off. Or Ryan Collins gets the face off from back to the same basic Alex Broadhurst as he's out there with Kevin Stenland and alongside Ryan Collins is Dylan Simpson. The and that's an offside called against the Monsters once again. Paul Binner out there with Zach Dolphy. 3 nothing Monsters. 8-19 left in the second period. A minute 30 on the power play for the, for the Rockford Ice Hogs. Here comes Bittner trying to make a... Trying to make magic happen. Cannot. Zach Dolphy tries to take a shot. Misses the net completely. And... And they really tried to make that work. Bittner trying to take a shot there. The monster is just taking shot after shot here. And offside called on the monsters. Once again. I don't know if he's gonna make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Should have shot that one higher, Bittner. Might have gotten in. Testy wins the face off to Ryan Collins. Crosses that line. Hammers one. Not Testy the trying to make a shot. Cleveland kills off the penalty. It's back to full strength. Letestu. And icing. Called on the monsters. It'll go back to the monsters zone. You can't make an easier save than that on a three-on-one. That was really poorly played by the offense.
Monsters have started off the season extremely well so far. Nice Ryan Collins over. gets the face off. The monsters keep the play going in the From the test do. Here's Dolpy over to Vino. Broadhurst alongside Dolby and Scott. With the scoring of that goal, the lead now is three. Somerby. Broadhurst with the puck. Justin Scott with the puck. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Let's get you another stop. With 352 left in the second period. Win here. Gabriel Carlson. Fires. Another shot for Gabriel Carlson. Nathan Gerby with the puck. Gerby over to Milano. Somerby take or Somerby gets a good hit. Milano with the puck over to Mark Latestu. Mark Latestu. Latestu's had some chances in this game. He finally scores on the backhand. He barely got a piece of that. Close to being in the right position, but he can't shut down the shot. The Monsters have scored yet again, and their lead gets bigger. They are doing very well. It is now 4 0 Monsters after the Latestu goal. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. And we got one minute left in the second. Snapping a pass to Highmore. Eight, turn, six, five, that went off the pass. four, Pope three, two, away. one. And that's the end of the second period. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast at home. Forsberg's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Welcome to the second period recap. I am once again CBoss Gaming. The monsters have been way out shooting Rockford. It shots on goal is 30 for Cleveland and 6 for Rockford. Still one hit for the Monsters. <laughs> Determine attack, 10 minutes, 16 seconds for the Monsters, and only a minute 38 for Rockford. 29 face-offs, one for the Monsters, two for the Ice Hogs. Two power, or er, two penalties for the Monsters. And two and the Rockford Ice Hogs are 0 for 2 on the power play, but the Monsters do have a short-handed goal. Now let's turn to the guys who have scored goals. Adam Clendenning has two assists. Sonny Milano has two assists. Mark Latestu, Nathan Gerby, Paul Bittner, and Tommy Cross all have goals. Ryan McInnes, Sam Vino, and Doyle Summerby all have assists. All right, now let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the stuff for the, for the Rockford Ice Hogs. No one's got anything. 
Other than Jordan Schroeder, Noel, or Noel, and Highmore, who all have one shot. Alright. It's time for the third and final period of play. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Cleveland's coaching staff doc told us before the game they wanted to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on a Mark scoreboard. Mark Matesti wins the faceoff to of Ryan game. Collins. Let's see how they play it the last 20. Let's it go. Can't get it. Lara trying to score. It's a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Didn't get through. Nathan Gerby with the puck. Lines along the line. Hatchets one. Got that. Tremendous. Scoring chance. You got score. Nathan Kirby scores. There's not many better feelings after putting a puck in the net when you see passing like that. Milano's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Nathan Gerby scoring yet another one. It is now five to nothing monsters because of that goal by Gerby. That's why he's the captain. Ryan Collins brings the puck up the wing. And stolen by Rockford. With Ryan Collins. And now Dylan Simpson bringing it up the wing. Saved by Forsberg, an easy save. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Over three minutes Once again, after this game, we will be looking at the second Monsters vs. Rockford game. Once again in Cleveland, the Iraq and Motors Fieldhouse. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Scott. In which the monsters will once again be wearing their home white. And Rockford will be wearing their away red. And a goal scored for the Rockford Ice Hogs. It's a low glove side. Got to be able to catch that. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. It is now 5 to 1 Cleveland. There's Jean Francois Berube. And here's Calvin Turkoff. Backhand into the net, and that's a stop for the uh, Nathan Gerby's one goal away from a hat trick. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Vino wins the faceoff against Schroeder. Tommy Cross now with the puck. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, just missed. Clendenning to Turkoff. Vino with the puck tries to take a shot, misses. Here's Turkoff now. Turkoff with the puck again, takes a backhander. And now Kevin Stenlin has the puck. Tries to get a wrap around, but misses. He's got it there, he wants to clear it out. Puck collected. Clendenning has a huge hit. To Ryan McKinnis now. 
Cross and Cole Sherwood from New Albany, Ohio is in. His first season with the Monsters. He's a total rookie. Alongside Bittner and McKinnis. Into the attacking end. Brings a shot. Wonderful save. John Francois Baru makes the save. That was a good challenge. And Latestu now has the puck as he's going up the line. Takes a shot, misses. Out comes Gerby. The ice hogs in their own end in possession as they travel. Gabriel Carlson. Oh boy. Now Gabriel Carlson. Now they take a shot. Carlson over to Latestu. Latestu to the Milano goal! Sonny Milano with his first goal this season he's been playing incredible and now Broadhurst will get the face off against Sakura Justin Scott takes a shot ooh Upcoming television broadcast versus Rockford at Toronto and then versus Wilkes Bear Scranton. The next time the Monsters have a doubleheader, it'll be at home against the Wilkes Bear Scranton Baby Penguins. Be prepared for that. He keeps winning the faceoffs. His team is ahead in the game. His percentage is high, and their score is high. And all the way back to their own zone as Colin comes to pick it up as Broadhurst will take it up the wing. Broadhurst in. Broadhurst takes a shot, misses. He gets the Ryan Collins. Ryan Collins misses the shot. When you're screen like that, you just have to hope it hits you. Rockford's along the wing at center ice. Rockford's along the wing. Zach Dolphy. That was one. He'll As Ryan Collins lays oh, out Sakura. As he gets it over to Dolphy, but Dolphy misses. As Dolphy. Oh, another goal for the Rockford Monsters. Who was it? Who scored that? That was Tyler Sakura. Especially off of rebounds, go to this area. 
Oh, the goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Edzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves And Ryan McKinnon wins the face-off. And Cole Sherwood with the puck. Clendenning goes back to get it in his own zone. Or in no man's zone. As he gets it to McKinnis. McKinnis chasing after it. And there is no time left in the third period. The game is over. Game and final. Clear on the section. Rock for two. Shots on goal. Please don't get all over this. He stats. And of course, we'll take a look at the three stars of the game. All right, time for game two of this double header against the Rockford Ice Hogs. And the Monsters will be playing in their alternate yellows while the ice hogs will be wearing their home whites tonight and we're gonna we're gonna do a little line editing on the defensive side now since our defensive lines weren't really helping dylan simpson will be moved for gabriel carlson clen denning will be starting Simpson will be on second line. Hold on one second. Hello? Yes. Yes. I know. Yes. Alright. Okay. No thanks. Alright. Bye. That is a call, but we are back. And tonight we've got Gold Pads Brad in at Gold, Brad Teason. Our starting lineups are at defense Gabriel Carlson and Adam Clendenning. 
And your forwards, Sonny Milano, Mark Latestu, and Nathan Gerby. And now we will start the game. Welcome back to Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse, the 1 0 Cleveland Monsters up against the 0 1 Rockford Ice Hogs. Anton Forsberg is back in net for the. And now we got Brad Teasen in for the Cleveland Monsters. And they are ready for the opening face off, and so are we. The opening faceoff has begun. Clint Denning gets the faceoff alongside. And Latestu, that did not take long. Not take long. Clint Denning with the assist. Usually going to be scores on those, but and Clint Denning will get the block. Milano going up the wing. Milano over to Gerby. Gerby go! Just incredible. Nathan Gerby is just amazing this season. He the, he deserves the C. The monsters win the draw. Clint Denning over to Justin Scott. Justin Scott trying to make the shot, but doesn't make it work. It's a Dolphy. Dolphy takes a very long time getting his shot off, but Zach Dolphy up against Sakura. Rockford's continuing on up the wing. Stole that pass away in his own end. Last game ended 6 to 2 Cleveland. Dolphy trying to get the shot. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. The Ice Hogs on the move through center. Yes, uh. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Rister from the slot. Great glove save. Incredible glove save by Brad Teason. Cleveland's up the wing, settling things. Shoots one. Score! What a goal! Justin Scott gets his first goal this year. And the Monsters already have a impressive 3-0 lead. Vino out there with Stenlin, Turkov, 
Cross and Simpson. A face off win. Let's see what develops. Scored by number 20. Assisted by number Good grab again. He wore that puck on a hard shot. And by number 53, Gabriel Rockford setting up an offense from the wing. He gets it back. And Jordan Schroeder scores for the Ice Hogs. Sometimes you just get so lucky. He's not shooting the puck there. And the goaltender's fooled as the puck doesn't come with any velocity at all. Rockford's only trailing now by two. Let's see if they can build on this before the end of the first period. Nice hugs goal Cleveland's scored by Jordan Schroeder. Goalie by surprise at how quick he released that puck. Turned aside with a pass. Stenlin. The Ice Hogs with a neutral zone possession along the way. It's dumped in. Cleveland skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Good work in clearing it out. Somebody and offsides on the so call on the monsters. Justin Scott scored his first career goal of the night. Congrats to him. Benchmark, you want to achieve it as quickly as possible. He was able to get it done. He can feel some satisfaction in that. Just under seven minutes to go in the period. With the scoring of that goal, they're back to within one. So Dylan Doyle Somerby with the puck. And now it's Ryan McKinnis over to Bittner. Bittner. No goal. Forsberg makes another save. You think after that six to two loss, they would have uh, put in their other goalie? Reads the release of the shot. He drops to the butterfly. Makes a really easy stop. Okay, they win the draw. Ryan Collins taking a shot. Ryan McKinnis around here. Ryan McKinnis, no goal, but Bittner has it. Bittner. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. And he gains the zone. Regathers it. Shoots. Terrific challenge. And a save and a stop by Brad Teason. 357 left in the first period. Picks it up in his own end. Gerby has it. Takes it in from the neutral. Gerby moving it up. That puck hit him on the way to the net. He's got a chance. Back in his own end and in trouble. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gerby with the puck. And it is yet another goal for or yet another stop for the Ice Hogs. The Ice Hogs have been doing incredible on on the goaltending side, other than letting in three. Dylan Simpson takes a shot, a quick shot, but misses. And the interception by Milano. Good job with the stick. Save there. And that's the end of the first period. First period has been completed. And so intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. And the deficit at the start of the period will be two. Every playoff game, our team score brings you our item of the game. Warm and stylish here at the rink with a scarf tonight price to just Forsberg's terrific save has kept his team in this game. Intermission is coming up. Priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight is just 10 bucks. Hurry as supplies are limited. 
Shots on goal 12 for the Monsters and only three for the Ice Hogs. Monsters time on attack 317 with the Rockford Ice Hogs time on attack being 135. Monsters have won eight faceoffs and the Ice Hogs have won one faceoff. No penalties, no power plays, none of that. Of course, Kirby's looking amazing. Alright, time for the second period to start. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edzo? Rockford's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. Let's have see wins the face off to Clendenning. Clendenning over to Gerby. In the intermission. Broken stick, rotten luck. Say. The Ice Hawks can thank their goaltender for even being in the ball game. They've been way out of it so far. Shoots one. Didn't miss by much. Looking for options. No. The goalie can breathe a sigh of relief. The shooter's right in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. Gerby trying to get another Puck shot. Now by the defense. They've got all the Gerby with it. A test do with it. Carlson has it now, and he takes a shot at it, and it's over to the Testu. Gerby, Gerby once again with the puck. Gerby takes another shot. Gerby really tried to get that one in. Gerby was looking incredible. And here's Dolpy. Dolpy up the edge to Justin Scott. Justin Scott mm, missing the pass and the shot. Now the shot's blocked. Alex Broadhurst over to Justin Scott now. Rockford's carrying on in the defensive zone. He's got that pass off the right wing and can move ahead. Backhander to the net. Save. Tried it again to Schroeder, but no luck. Oh, saved one there. And now Calvin Turkoff with Carries the puck. Turkoff, goal! Calvin Turkoff. He is right there in the low slot and doesn't waste any time snapping that home. Oh, the goaltender's not going to feel very good about that one. He thought he was in good enough shape, but he gets beat right up over the glove. The Monsters have gotten another goal on a huge night for them. We have seen this a lot. They're rolling. And Dylan Simpson hat wins, or er, Samvini wins the face off, and now we've got Kevin Stenlin with the puck over to Tommy Cross. Cross thought Simpson was there. I really thought he was there. Stenlin to Vino, but it's blocked by Carlson. Outstanding pass. He's got it right off that right wing. Turkoff with it. Now to Vino. Vino up the wing. Vino in. Go Masters! He just wasn't set there. The puck deflects off him and goes into the net. Sam Vino scores his first of the season. Connected yet again on the scoreboard, 
And they'll probably get the puck right back the way this game has gone. They've got the draw. And oh, whoa. Got it in his own end. Things are heating up with that hit. I wonder if I just wanted to hit one of their guys. And puck is out of play. We'll see a uh, face off. Sambino with his first career goal. I doubt that. I highly doubt that. Because he's been with the Monsters for a good minute. And Ryan Collins. Now Cole Sherwood. Who I've actually seen really. He's really good uh, watching him play with the Monsters live in real life. Um. By the way, if anyone watching this is going to be at the Monsters game on uh, Friday night, the Oliver Bjorkstrand Bobblehead Giveaway, I will be at that game. Andy dumps it in. Puck grab, they've got it ready. And if you're going to the Columbus Blue Jackets game on March 14th against the Nashville Predators, I will also be at that game. Oh, McKinnis had a shot and it didn't work. Just awful goals scoring and whatnot. Broadhurst, where's he at now? I think he's with the Ducks or something like that. San Diego Gulls. All I know is that we traded Sonny Milano this season. That's that's kind of, that's kind of sad news because I actually do like Sonny Milano. But looking to Scott. And here's Justin Scott with a breakaway. Oh, messes up on the breakaway chance. Taken over again. And now Martinson has it. Tommy Cross trying to get somewhere. Jordan Schroeder, Dylan Simpson right there with him. Schroeder, the former Blue Jacket and actually Cleveland Monsters player too. Gerby gets it up to Simpson. Simpson over to Milano. Here comes Milano. Speaking of Sonny Milano. Goal! Three straight goals. Milano's quick read of the play allowed him to get that breakaway and score. The butterflies have no help to him there. Thought he had the net closed off, but he doesn't. The puck's behind him. I believe it's already sit on this now and get the horn at the end of the second. Six to one. With thirty-four point five seconds left. Offsides on the monsters. Who's offsides? Which one are you idiots was offsides? Sonny Milano out there with Mark Letestu, Nathan Gerby. Carlson and Clendenning on the defense. Gains the blue line. He missed the net by a mile. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it, but unfortunately he turned. And a delayed penalty for the Monsters, but that's the end of the second period. Forty minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and brunch time. Automobile-related pollution is on the Forsberg's had days when he's been spectacular, yeah. but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Welcome to the second intermission report. Cleveland up six to one at the end of the second period. And the shots on goal are twenty-three for the monsters. And only seven for Rockford. This game is lopsided.
15 face offs, one for the Monsters, two for Rockford. And three hits for the Monsters, which is really good. Um, no penalties, none of that just yet. Now we go to the third period, third and final period of the game. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The monsters have had their and Gabriel Carlson like will be in the penalty box. We don't know why. They never gave the call. Bittner, oh, Bittner just fed it right to Forsberg. Tyler Sakura net second game, the second goal scorer from last game. Dolphy with a shorthander. has been substituted for the Rockford Ice Hogs and it is now 7 to 1 your lead on a night that they have had the offense going third period of play and that is another offside call on the monsters we've been getting a lot of those this year at least so far join us next time when we take on or join us tomorrow morning when we take on the Toronto Marlies. Paul Bittner. I'm thinking on changing Bittner's jersey to jersey number to seven to match his current jersey number, but I don't want to do that. Then again, I don't ever go for the authentic EA Sports experience. And a goal scored. A power play goal scored for the Ice Hogs. Who was that? Anthony Lewis. He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, mm. he drops into the. And now it is seven to two. To see if he can cover enough net. Monsters. And they've taken that face off. Dylan Simpson. To Justin Scott. Justin Scott taking a shot, trying to get the goal, but no dice. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a So join us tomorrow morning when we face the Toronto Marlies, and then Saturday when we face the Wilkes Bear Scranton Penguins. A reminder, if you're at the Monster Game tomorrow night at 7 p.m., I will be there. I will be there. And the Monsters are on the power play! Rockford's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping No, that is clearly a tripping call. Henry Joki Harju for tripping. And the Monsters are on the power play for the first time this season. Let's see if they can make good on it. Ryan Collins. Now Kevin Stenland. Stenland again. Milano with it. Milano keeping with it. Milano shoots. 
and a, and a stop. A couple of high quality shots for Sonny Milano and Kevin Stenland. Dylan Simpson now. Sonny Milano with the puck. Sonny Milano to Sam Vino. Milano. Goal! PPG scored by Sam Milano, his second tonight, third of the season, and first power play goal. Cleveland's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least that is fortunate. It is now eight to two monsters after the power play goal, meaning they are one for one in power plays this season. Scott's a little frustrated as the shot bounces off the post. Everybody wants to score. As Clendenning out there with Carlson. Alongside them is Alex Broadhurst, Justin Scott. And that puck goes offside. And that's an offside call. Along with Zach Dolpy. Over five minutes have gone by. Do you think the ice is tilted? Wow. This scoreboard may not hold all those numbers. Gabriel Carlson, Sonny Milano over to Latestu. It's an onside play. Latestu getting it to Gerby. Gerby misses the shot, but he gets it out to Latestu. Gabriel Carlson. And now Sonny Milano with the puck up to Mark Latestu and over to Nathan Gerby. Nathan Gerby tries to take a shot. Loose puck did not go very well there. Loose puck due to the play by Campbell. He takes that point pass. Missed! If that puck hits the net, I think it goes through it. Gotta clear it. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. At the point with it. Stenland shot the misses off the wide. Wide off the net. As the Monsters continue to lead 8-2. Gerby with the puck. Gerby trying to shoot it over, but it goes out, way out. And Stenlin is forced to pick it up in his own zone. As Vino has it, over to pass it over to Stenlin. Stenlin up to the thing. Stenlin misses, here's Vino with a shot. And he tried to deflect it in, but it misses off the net wide. Doyle Somerby. And here's Vino. There's a little bit of a luck involved there. The goalie was screened on the play. He couldn't see it, but he stopped it. Breaks away. Anthony Lewis trying to score another goal. But Doyle Somerby says no. But Doyle Somerby and Brad Teason say hell no. And Stedlin had a chance at a wide open net, but no dice. Ryan Collins. Or to Justin Scott. Justin Scott to Broadhurst. Broadhurst with the puck. Now Hillman with the puck on the. Now. And another power play for the. The Monsters are given a hooking minor. And another power play for the Rockford Ice Hogs as it is a hooking call. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. I like their setup on the power play. Dolphy Bittner. Bittner with up. Or Bittner up with it. And the goalie stops it. 
Cleveland's got an opportunity over the next stretch of games to really come together as a team, execute their game plan, and get some wins. It's not going to be easy. It never is in this league. The best players and teams find a way to win, Doc. They win the draw. Tommy Cross. The was jammed, and it hit somebody. Rotten quickly back. Stared him down and made the save. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Bittner tried to get a couple shots in. Here's Dolpy. Bittner end. again. Chips it back. Need to get rid of it. <laughs> Must get it out. Uh, how it, sir? And Clendenning will try and get it to cross. Thank you. Oh. To recoil and try yet again. 42 seconds left on this power play. A minute 55 left in the game. Shoots. What a reaction save. Shoots. And yet another save. How does he do that? Hit the post with the shot. A minute 39 left in the game. The monsters are skating it up. Monsters up 8-2. Denning with the puck. Clendenning takes a shot. Misses. Here's Stenland. Stenland all the way around, trying for a wrap around. Schroeder with the puck now. Schroeder over to Martinson. One minute left, and we are back to full strength. About a minute left in the game. 38 seconds left. Looks ahead to start something. The Monsters with the puck Trying driving up the wing. Here comes Nathan Gerby. Gerby to throw and goal! Kevin Stenland scores his first goal of the season. And now Latestu is out there with Gerby and Milano. Somerby and Collins, the defenseman, with 25 seconds left in this game. It is nine to two. Anytime you get near a bench part, you want to achieve it as quickly. With the monsters winning this game. You can feel some satisfaction in that. Sixteen point five seconds left. Good face off win. A point hammer shot. And that one hit the glove. Chip to Milano. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Amazing reflexes. And the Monsters win. And the game is over. Terrific out. It was a big score, a victory, and a decisive amount of time that the winners had the puck. The coaching staff has to be extremely pleased with the energy and effort that their team played with. That's it for another great night at a hockey ring. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone. And of course, we will have our three stars of the game. All right, so 43 shots for the monsters. Fourteen for the Rockford Ice Hogs. And your three stars of the game. Hmm. With no goals, three assists.
Or three assists. Yeah, with three assists. Your third star of the game. Adam Clendenning. With one goal and two assists. Your second star of the game. Nathan Kirby. And with two goals and only one assist. Your one star, Sonny Milano. Back to back one stars for that guy. Quite impressive, gotta say. And that is the end of the game, the end of the doubleheader, and the end of that. See you next time when we take on the Toronto Marlies. At the Coca-Cola Coliseum. Let's take a look at the stats so far for our team. Sonny Milano with 7 points. Gerby with 5. Clendenning with 5. Letestu with 3. Vino with 3. Dylan Simpson with 3. Jack Dalpy with 2. Gabriel Carlson with 2. Ryan Collins with 2. Paul Bittner with 1. Justin Scott with 1. Tommy Cross with 1. Calvin Turkoff with 1. Kevin Stenlin with 1. Alex Broadhurst with 1. Ryan McKinnis with 1. Doyle Somerby with 1. And then Bre you got your scratched and Cole Sherwood. So we will see you next time for the next part of this season.